Hello, this is a little video on the lens model. Let us begin. In this video, I'm going to start the description of the lens model off just by describing what's happening on the right hand side. I think this is one of the most important aspects of the lens model. Um, the first thing that I want to say is basically the lens model is basically multiple linear regression, but with a, a slight twist. So in general, the right hand side of the lens model is basically trying to describe how um, a judge, in our case a human judge, would go from a set of cues, or you know you could call them predictor variables, how, how do you go from a series of cues to an actual judgment? So that's very general. Um, and on purpose, this can be applied in many different situations. So one situation could be judging the probability that somebody will um, re-offend, or it could be judging how long someone has um, until they die. Uh, maybe it could be uh, judging someone's salary based on um, their education and other variables. So, let me just start by drawing this out then. The idea is that you have a series of um, cues, also known as uh, predictor variables. And to keep things very general, we can call these, you know, x1, x2, x3, so on. Uh, maybe we have n of these things. And what we want to end up with over on the right hand side is basically a judgment. So the question is, how do you go from the cues um, to a judgment? What you do is you essentially um, add up a set of contributions uh, to the judgment. So you can imagine that each of these cues will play um, a certain role in this judgment. So we're going to add all of these up, sum them together. This little symbol in here is just the, the Greek sigma um, symbol, which just means adding things up. Um, but we're not just going to add up the raw predictor variables. What we're going to do instead is to think that we're going to define some weightings. So I'm going to call these uh, beta weightings. So we could imagine you've got beta 1, beta 2, beta 3, um, and so on. So you may not have seen uh, multiple linear regression drawn out like this, but this is multiple linear regression. In order to uh, kind of make that really clear, I'm just going to draw this out. So what you would do is you'd say, OK, we want to know uh, what the judgment is. And you would say that this is done by the weighted sum of all the predictors. So you take the first predictor and multiply it by the coefficient. Then you take the second predictor, multiply it by the second coefficient and so on, so we'd kind of carry on. Um, but then you also have um, error, because uh, very often you cannot predict things with complete accuracy. So just for the sake of um, clarity or completeness, I'm going to just draw this out in another way, which is perhaps uh, shorter. So we can say the judgment is made up of the sum of all of the predictor variables we have. So each one multiplied by uh, the, the beta coefficient. And then again we have uh, our error. So let's step back one moment um, and consider what's going on here. On the left we have a bunch of cues or predictor variables. So 
These are then combined in a weighted sum. This is what we're drawing out here. So we are weighting each of the Qs or the predictors by a weighting coefficient and then we're adding all of these things up together and that's going to result in our overall judgment. So I know I keep on saying this but just to really clarify um, the right hand side of the lens model is multiple linear regression. But what does that kind of mean exactly? Well, let's just think what these things are. So you might have a data set, you might want to do a study and your goal would be um, to examine how human judges uh, come to a judgment um, about a particular thing. So like I say, it could be judging the probability that you will commit a crime or the uh, length of time you have um, to survive a medical condition. Um, all kinds of different things. So what you would do as a scientist is you would collect um, a data set. So let's kind of draw this out, what that would mean. Um, in order to collect this data set, you'd have to collect um, values of each of the predictors. So these would be columns in your data set. So these could be things like age, height, weight, uh, where you're from, and so on. But then you would also want to collect um, the actual judgments that a human judge comes up with. So you can imagine that you'd have a data set here, uh, and I'm not going to fill this full of numbers, that would take forever and be a bit laborious, but you can imagine that you might have a data set of all these different um, cues, they would be different for different uh, people, different cases, but in each one you would also have a measurement for um, a judgment that someone would actually have. So this would be like your raw data and you would just put this into a multiple linear regression and you can calculate um, what the beta coefficients are. But why, why are we doing this? What, what does that mean? Well, it tells you how a human judge is actually utilizing the cues. And so what we can do is add another label on here and say, what are these um, coefficients? In the literature, this is often known as Q utilization. So whether you call them, you know, after the statistical name, beta coefficients, or more generally you could call them weightings, um, equally you could call them Q utilization. It basically just describes to what extent and how are human judges utilizing each of the predictors. If one of the coefficients is zero, then that means that that Q will have no effect on their judgment and so that essentially means that the judge is saying that this particular cue, this particular predictor, is irrelevant. But you could also have, um, you know, a high positive number. And so that would equate to saying, I believe that this, this other predictor is strongly and positively um, correlated with the, the judgment. Conversely, you could have a negative uh, Q utilization beta coefficient and that would mean um, I believe that this predictor is relevant and important in coming up with the judgment but I also know that actually the predictor is negatively correlated with my judgment for example. So this has been um, a quick overview of the right hand side of the lens model Hopefully I've made it painfully clear that the lens model is really simple. It's basically just multiple linear regression. And the point of it is to try to figure out how are judges actually using cues in coming up with the judgments.